don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on YouTube? It is the BK Cop360 here. And for a long time, people have been wanting to um, mix and match AMD and the NVIDIA GPUs. Now, a few months ago, I believe close to a year ago, I made a video talking about how DirectX 12 is eventually going to allow this and how people are saying that, look, DX12 is going to allow the combination of VRAM, you're going to be able to mix and match different GPUs, and of course, we've actually seen this realistically actually happen with Ashes of Singularity. Now, of course, Ashes of Singularity is a DirectX 12 game. It's kind of like, I don't want to call it a demo, but it's it's like a little, it's like a little DX12 game. It's like a little test game. So pretty much the guys at the non-tech, they went out and they pretty much mixed and matched NVIDIA and AMD GPUs, put them together to see how they perform. And of course, it literally worked. Like you literally saw very good scalable performance gains when you mixed and matched these two GPUs. Now I'll probably put some on the screen right now, but long story short, it's like pretty good. I mean, for example, at, let's look at the, these 4K benchmarks, for example. An R9 uh, Fury X by itself got 32 frames per second on average, I believe. However, when you combined it with a 980 Ti, it ended up getting 51.8 frames per second. That is a quite a substantial improvement. 21 uh, over 30, so it's about a 60, 66-ish percent uh, increase in performance. Now, that's pretty good, uh, assuming that Ashes of Singularity, it's not like the game is fucking, like, optimized for, you know, multi-vendor GPU, like, Crossfire or SLI file, whatever the hell you want to call it, but, um, yeah, it's really good, I mean, it's amazing, so, yeah, continuing on, we've also got, um, the 680 and the 7970, 2012's high-end GPUs, if you take a look at that, you also get performance gains when you combine the 7970 and the 680, and the performance gains are quite nice. I mean, it's actually worth it to do it. So that is very, very interesting in itself. However, fuck, that is really pissing me off how that's not straight. It's straight on my head, but it's not straight in the video. That is really annoying. But anyway, look, continuing on, guys, something that I really need to mention is, um, I'm sure you guys have picked up on it as well, but pretty much when the AMD card is the main card, the primary card, the leader, um, within the two GPUs, you tend to get better performance. I mean, especially, look at the fucking 7970 and the 680. When the 7970 is the leading card, it is like, the performance is really good, but when the 680 is leading, I don't know if it's driver issues or whatnot, but the performance just tanks at 15 FPS. Now, of course, the 680 issue could just be a driver issue, because as you can see, the two cards combined are performing worse than the normal 680 by itself, but even when you're looking at like the Fury X and the 980 Ti benches, I mean, whenever the AMD card is leading, the performance gain is just better. Why is that the case? That is not a question that the big K can answer for you, but it's quite interesting. It's a very interesting turn of events. And I'm really keen to see how this is going to like improve in the future. I mean, one day or not one day, we will eventually be able to just mix and match any GPU we want. I mean, my 7870, maybe I shouldn't even sell it. Maybe I should just slap it in and I'll be able to combine the performance of that with my new R9 290. That would be some really good shit. But of course, of course, you guys cannot forget that either AMD or more likely Nvidia, one of them is going to try and block this. I mean, I guarantee you, fucking Nvidia, the green team, man, out of the two of them, they're more likely to do it. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to do it through drivers, but I hear that's going to be pretty hard to like try and do, like to literally try to block it through drivers. But they've done it with PhysX, so I wouldn't be surprised if they do it with this. They're going to find a way to block this somehow. I don't know how, I don't know why or when they're going to do it, but they're going to do something. Like whenever an AMD card is detected within um, the NVIDIA control panel, it's just going to like shit itself. It's going to be like, no, nah, fuck you. You're not doing this, bro. You're not doing this. So I don't know. Hopefully, I'm just hoping. I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident that AMD is not going to rat out on it. I mean, let's be honest, guys. When it comes to this shit, AMD will take advantage of this. They will literally see this and be like, look, when you use our card first and use it with an NVIDIA card, you get better performance. So do this, but just put our card first. Like, make it the primary card. So... Yeah, look, I don't know. Let's just hope the green team doesn't fuck this up for everyone else. 
Um, hopefully it performs well. Hopefully it actually becomes a thing. I don't know if the developers um, that make the games need to actually specifically cater for this because I don't really think the guys that made Ashes of Singularity really like did this, if you get what I mean. Like they really intended for this to happen. I think it's just a DirectX 12 kind of thing. So I don't know, who knows? Maybe at one time, at uh, one point in the gaming scene, in the GPU scene, you're going to be getting 100% scaling when you combine the two cards together. I mean, it's it's really good, man. DX12 is shaping up to be quite a good API. And I'm assuming that on Vulkan, you might be able to do this as well. Now, of course, I can't clarify or guarantee you guys that. But if you can do that for Vulkan as well, that would be really, really nice. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and look, comment down below what you think about this whole situation. I mean, fuck, this is really, really nuts. Thank you, and I will see you later.